what you, what we need to know is are there any 30 kilo carp in here? 30. Um, oh, I, I mean 30 kilos is an absolute massive fish. Uh, just get that right. How many 30 kilo carp are there in here? Nick, why are you talking like that? Do it slowly, ready? Go on in, go on. Combien y a-t-il de carp de 30 kilos I see? There we go, that's all we need. That's all we need. Well, over the last few years, myself and Mark have dedicated as much time as we dare exploring the wild public waters of Europe. We've covered hundreds of thousands of footsteps, driven tens of thousands of miles, met some lovely people along the way. And on the odd occasion, we've even caught some beautiful carp from some of the most unique venues we've ever fished. However, these trips have been far from easy. Driving thousands of miles into totally unknown territory comes with its own challenges. But as they say, without risk comes no reward. Davidoff, cool <laughs> water from men. <laughs> so once again, it was time to hit the road for another European adventure. But little did we know that this one was about to unfold beyond our wildest dreams. Well, like all these big trips, they always involve some strategic van packing just to get everything in. But this time, we did it the night before, as I had to be at Mark's house for 4am the next day. An early start, but one fueled with excitement. But three hours later, at a steady pace, we arrived at the tunnel. I can't help but think, mate, that I'm feeling slightly like a criminal. Yeah, for good reason. <laughs> We've got some of our screamer compound. We just throw this out, mate. To all intents and purposes, that there could be anything, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's a tub of white powder that I'm going to taste because it's beautiful. But we've always said when we come through this tunnel, carrying powders, potions, lotions, and well, that's going to sit on there. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be ones who just be able to get it through, right? Well, it'll be interesting if we get it through. Right, let's go. Well, first checkpoint done. We're in. The contraband, the contraband is through is and it's still on the dash. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, only one more checkpoint to go. Hiding in plain sight. Only one more checkpoint to go, and I think we might be through. Yeah, yeah. Nervous. Like, don't look nervous. Yeah, game face. Put game your game face, face on. Game face. Natural face. So that's it, we're just waiting for the tunnel. Everything's been as smooth as can be so far. Um, we've got an earlier crossing. Well, there we are, Brits abroad. Yeah, man. We're on holiday, aren't we? It's lovely. You left Calais, mate, looking like uh, a carp angler, and you've arrived looking like you're ready for the beach. Oh, mate, well, you know, you're gonna... These carp are used to seeing people like this, aren't they? You know what I mean? Not used to seeing people in camo. Classic Mark Bryan, a pair of Crocs for every occasion. Yeah, these man. are the sport mode versions, aren't they? Mate, these are the ones, aren't they? Look at them, look at them. Beautiful. Let's have a closer look. I can't believe now we're just about to jump on a bike and go and uh, have our first look at the canal by bike, which is going to be a regular theme, isn't it? Well, I hope so, mate. It beats walking. We've done so much walking, didn't we, last time? So, uh, yeah, these bikes hopefully can help us out. So we're going to cover a lot more miles quicker. Got yeah. to be a plus. Right. Let's go. Let's do it. Next time, hopefully, we check into this camera. There'll be a carp in the water. Swimming around. Swimming around. Location. That'll be nice. Let's go. First impressions. Hmm, wow. It's long, isn't it? It's long, uh, but worryingly, we've seen quite a lot of dead pike. Um, 
which is usually, so, not always, but usually if they go, it's usually so of um, low oxygen. So uh, luckily in my van, I have brought over my O2 reader. So we're gonna have a little, we'll put, the, we'll put the O2 reader in, see what we're getting. Cause uh, if it's low O2, then that's not great for carp feeding or anything feeding. So uh, yeah, but you know, we've got loads and loads to go at. So I think we have a, we have a wander around, we see if we can find anything else mm. elsewhere. Mate, time in. We suspect that they've literally just tarmacked the canal as well. Yeah. This looks brand new, fresh tarmac. They've literally just cut, cut all this grass because we've just seen the grass cutter. So they've made a right racket today up and down this canal. Um, and in terms of, uh, if you were a carp, what would you do? I wouldn't be up on the surface <laughs> in the margins, would I? So. Yeah, you wouldn't be staying catch me. You'd be hiding somewhere. <laughs> Come on, let's get on the bikes. Saddle store. It is a bit, mate. It's a bit high, that. It's right in the wrong position. <laughs> You've got a week on that. I know I have. Yeah, not looking forward to it either. <laughs> Get used to it. Come on. Fine? Uh, yeah, I've got 10 milligrams, which is absolutely loads. 10 milligrams, 20 degrees in the water. Uh, the water is at 110% saturation. Uh, yeah, it's raining. Yeah, that's loads. Loads, so that's not an issue, which is good. So I if they've had an algae crash, mate, and obviously that's happened maybe a week or so ago. Yeah. And, uh, and the oxygen has now come back. We probably wouldn't have known anyway, would we? No, no, there's nothing. It's, it's all fine. I'm not seeing anything there that's sort of worrying. Um, a few of the pike that have died could have been from last week. We didn't know what's happened last week because we weren't here, but something's happened. <laughs> um, but the good news is, yeah, the O2 is fine. The bad news is the clarity is still terrible and we can't really see anything. So, bit of pre bait might have to do its job. Yeah, mate, that's it. It's got to roll with the punches, haven't we? Come on. Before we left, we decided to take a punt and just give a likely looking area on the canal a good scattering of boilies. To say day one wasn't going to plan was an understatement. As the canal looked lifeless, it was weedy, it had lots of boat traffic, it was also really coloured, so spotting anything was out of the question. It was certainly not what we expected, so it was time for plan B. The reality is, I didn't really have a plan B. I'd spent weeks telling Mark that the canal we'd be fishing would be gin clear, ideal for riding about on our bikes and spotting carp in the crystal clear water, but that just wasn't the case. Inside I was dejected. I'd more or less planned to spend the whole week on this canal the sections we wanted to fish were 20 or 30 miles long. More than enough to keep us busy, but they all looked the same. Murky, muddy, and full of this moving weed. The first night was soon drawing to a close, so out of sheer desperation we decided to drop onto a river system that we knew very little about. All six rods got boated to the far bank and it was well into dark by the time the last rod was dropped. But just as I was boating back from the far bank, I could see Mark was bent into a fish. And as I docked the boat, I realised he was into a carp. Oh, mate, that's good, isn't it? Look at this. Mate, look at the size of that. Uh, well, I, we haven't even finished getting our rods out. No. <laughs> and the river rod, the banker spot, to be fair. The banker spot, the one we thought would probably go, has yeah. gone. Yeah, if you catch any more on that, then I'll be, uh, <laughs> we'll be swapping that banker yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, probably. God, look at him, mate. He's, he's well over thirty pound. That one. Yeah, I reckon. We're not only been out what? Ah, oh, ten minutes. Reckon? Yeah, yeah, ten minutes. Bit of a weird fight. It was, mate. Yeah, I couldn't work out what's going on. It's all in the flow, out the flow. But, um, mate, we we'll take that, won't we? Wow. Yes. 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 
Let's get ourselves sorted in a minute. Yeah. My goodness. Look, he nailed that. Mate, look at the lips on it. Yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. Two mate. double 80 mil Atlantic heat boosted R look baits have disappeared down there, haven't they? Mate, look at the mouth. They're just <laughs> rarely, if ever, caught, are they? Yeah. Is he off the ground? Yep. Oh, bit. Not as big as I thought, but still, 32.6, that's a hell of a result. A yeah. river carp. How do you mean? A yes. river carp. Oh, happy with that. Awesome. 32.6. Yeah, man. Oh, brilliant. Let's, uh, let's just pop them in the edge for a bit. Yep. Get sort ourselves of sorted with the cameras and uh, we'll take some snaps. Okay, right, let's get that cool. Look at his mouth, mate. Cool. Never going to do them justice in this sort of night light, are they? Nah, but you know, it is what it is, isn't it? We've had it early, so yeah, rather than get them back, you know. Incredible cart, mate, for a river. Yeah, it's lovely. All shapes and sizes. Don't know what you're going to get. That's what we like. Yeah. Yeah, let's lift them up then, mate, and have a quick look, and we'll get them back. A bit like Saturday night in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a teenager, obviously. Right, good one then, mate. That's the right result. Yeah, mate. Yep. Very happy to get off the mark. It's good. It's good. A lot of uh, a lot of walking, a lot of looking today. He's a really cool cart, mate. Yeah, yeah. Look at the, look at the shape of it. <laughs> Powerhouse. Yeah, it is, man. Do you know what it reminds me of? Go on. Uglo from the car park. Yeah, mate. Same shape, actually, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get him back into that lovely yeah, gym clear on, right here. Look at the size of the shape of it. I know. Weird old shape, isn't it? Go on, mate. <laughs> Big old cart, mate. Yep. Time for bed. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Well, this morning's job is to sort this lot out. Uh, we managed to get the rods out, as you would have seen, 11 o'clock, and we were lucky to get our fish. So we're, so we're off the mark, but we're going to go searching today, and this is job number one. It's just rammed in there because we didn't get the rods out till late. Stuff everywhere. Mark's trying to suss out where we are, trying to get another option for another move. Mm they'll be on our way. The game of Van Jenga commences. Yeah, too many options. The hunt continues. What? Said the hunt continues. Bring you up to speed. We are now at our well, we've been to loads of locations like bouncing around today, but we've settled on a tiny, tiny little canal um, for one night only, carrying on the theme at the moment, <laughs> never spending more than 12 hours in any one location. But uh, yeah, it looks good. There's, um, there's a few, there's not many fish in here, not loads and loads, but ever hopeful. So yeah, we're going to plot up, put a few rods out. And uh, who knows, might even enjoy a beer tonight. That'll be a rare occasion. 
You're gonna go out and grab some, Mike, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know if I can get there on my bike or I need to take the van, but a cold beer is pending. Mate, that'd be lovely, but it's warm, isn't it? It's like 27 degrees, I think, at the moment. It's quite warm. Yeah. Um, mate, you know, so I'm gonna put a couple of baits out, boilers and a few tigers. I'm just putting on a little, uh, a little small 12 cent from hell pop-up. Little snowman setup, ever so simple. A little 80 mil uh, bottom bait underneath it. Yeah, and if there's a few fish here, hopefully we'll um, we'll get one. Mega intimate. Literally, we are fishing under our feet, aren't we? Tiny, mate. Tiny little place, isn't it? And uh, we've said it many times before. There's so many fish all throughout France and Belgium, and that. It's just there's so much water. Just uh, we're never ever going to do it justice, but um, but. Hey. We're here now, mate. We're gonna got a few rods out, have a couple of beers, and um, see what tonight brings. You just never know, do you? So we're going to cast long, going that way. Um, I'll get to the in the morning. This crazy urban canal was a place I'd actually visited briefly on my last trip. When we arrived this time, though, we were greeted with the sounds of a pensioner's salsa class. Now this canal is an acquired taste to say the least. Imagine fishing amongst crazy youths, loud parties in the park, a constant stream of public walking past and the drone of cars revving around the town until the small hours and you'll start to picture the scene. However, we soon bumped into a friend I'd made on my last trip, a lovely French chap and a passionate angler of all species, including carp. As usual, our language barrier prevented a flowing conversation, but with Google Translate and Stonewall drawings, we soon got some local tips before we eventually had a chance to relax and settle down for a bite to eat. However, it wasn't long before rest was once again off the menu. Definitely fish then come through. Definitely a carp come through then. Bloody hell, they're here. They are here. Let's have a look down here. <laughs> yeah, the water's a little bit coloured down here as well. Hmm, it's good. This is good. <laughs> oh mate, I've got to go. <laughs> I know we've just set up and everything here and it's getting on for what, nearly 12 o'clock and we're absolutely knackered, but uh, I've seen fish further up, like from where we are. Yeah, I watched you, I watched you lamping them, mate. I was like, Mark's definitely got itchy feet. Yeah, mate, so I went over and I took my head torch um, and my camera. Um, I don't think I got them on camera, but I, I definitely saw carp over there. What were you doing? Were they scared of the light? No, 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 not really. They just sort of just drift out, you know, drift off. Um, what made you... I mean, I, I was tucked up in bed, and uh, I just heard you rustling around, come down, and we're all excited, and, uh, yeah. you. But you're all set up here, so you... you I know, yeah. Do you know, you <laughs> get all set up and everything, and I just... Just had that. I just had that feeling. I just thought they they're not here. Just don't doesn't fit. Didn't feel right. And I know where we fish down there. There's some. You know, they get down there and fish get caught there. Plenty of them. But well, that that local guy was trying to draw on the walls. You've already seen. Yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. And he was yeah, giving yeah, you like yeah. caveman diagrams, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we sort of set up roughly where we thought they were, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's exactly that. But there's you know, so it's a long bit of canal. Um, so I just thought I'd go for a wander from myself. Thought you know what, I'm going to take me head torch. You were pretty close to it, so you can look after the rods. I'm just going to go over, and um, I've got quite a high-powered uh, head torch. And uh, yeah, I went over at the top and over the far, and I saw like three or four, like you know, quite quickly as well. So mm. that's good enough for me, mate. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to quickly now pack up, 
get everything and just just walk it up just do it get up there as quickly as i can because uh yeah there's definitely fish at that top and um well mate yeah. just think you'll have your rods out by what 1 a.m one o'clock in the morning yeah <laughs> I'm going to give you a hand, so I'm going to put this yeah, camera Yeah, mate, that'd be dead, ain't Thanks for that. Yeah, let's that'd just pack good. down quick, get up there, and um, yeah. and then we can... Uh, I don't know what's going on over a couple of fields away, but they must be having some sort of party, because you can hear oh, screaming mate. and all sorts. Yeah, I know, it's a nightmare. It's never, it's never, <sighs> never quiet here, is it? No, but next time, mate, next time I check in, it'll be morning, and there might be a car in the sack. Oh, mate. That'd be worth the effort, wouldn't it? Yeah, too much. Right, right let's, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. As dawn broke, and despite longing for an extra hour in bed, an elderly chap decided to wake up the world from his window as he fed the canal's bird population a baguette breakfast at just gone 6am. However, shortly after swinging my legs off the bed, I did have a strange take, and the result being a rather unusually shaped 20 pounder. But I had a funny feeling that Mark may have had a far better night's angling than me. Well, the canal looks beautiful this morning and I'm walking up because there's some good news to report. That's because Mr. Bryant moved in the night. Well, I helped him move because we've seen a few carp in the uh, headlight of the, or well, the torch headlight. And uh, we moved up here at 11 o'clock last night, helped Mark move, carried all the kit by hand, no barrow. And uh, as I come here now, he's got good news. We got good news. Yes, mate. It was a very uh, <clears throat> yeah eventful night. There was I had four takes, four um, landed two. The other two, fortunately, lost in the pads. Hook pull, both of them. Bit of a nightmare, but um, that's really unlucky, mate. Because <sighs> those pads I've uh, I've caught on this morning as well is that they, they once the carp are up and about, thrashing about, they don't really cause yeah. you any problems. And mate, yeah, it's just, just really unlucky that. Done all the hard work, got them in close, and it just span, it span round what this this pad here, like real close. And uh, yeah, I couldn't get couldn't get the net out to it, couldn't get the net under it, and um, yeah, it just hook popped. Ah, oh, but anyway, up. it was a good fish as well, a real good fish. Mm. Boo. Yeah, but mate, we've got a couple a uh, couple of just what I've just retained down there, so. Um, how big? How big are they? Um, one's 34 and the other's 25. Result. Yeah, mate, Absolute result. Good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. Two nights, two 30 yeah. pounders. Yeah, mate. Yeah, you take that, wouldn't you? It so, feels like I've been here a week. It does, mate. <laughs> I don't know. We've been here four hours. <laughs> You've had no sleep in the last two days. Mate, I had no sleep last night. Those been... little peepers. Tiny really little tired, peepers. Mate. I'm really tired. Spoiled. Come on, let's get these done because yeah. i got to get back. Yep. yep. Well, we didn't even get a chance to record the fish because the other rod's just gone off. I do mate, isn't it? That's what happens. <laughs> You're in the dolly hole here. <laughs> you have got them lined up in front of you. Getting through this little awkward bit here. Yeah, you kind of want them to thrash a little bit, don't you? Get the net a minute, mate. There we go. Yeah, is he through? The net's, a, the net's gone a bit weird. There you go. Good fish, that one, mate. Go on. Oh, that's a good fish, Mark. That's a good fish. Yes. <laughs> that, mate. That's a good fish, that one, Mark. Longer. Oh. oh, 31, 12. Oh, I do. Ho, ho, ho. Brace of 30 pounders. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's do that. Superb. What result? Yes. <laughs> Well, what a crazy morning. A handful of Atlantic heat and Cremino after each carp just kept the bites coming and Mark still had another two to photograph. Look at that. That is a seahorse. It is, mate, isn't it? Of a carp. <laughs> right, we take that. 
all shapes and sizes, we don't care. Oh, mate, that'll do, won't it? <sighs> hectic, hectic morning, that. But we'll take that, mate, even with a bit of lack of sleep. Lovely to uh, yeah, string a few fish together. They're right, they're, they're definitely here, and the move last night paid off, so uh, yeah, mega chuffed. Lovely colours, Mark. Yeah, cool, isn't he? Dark one. It's hard work, isn't it? Oh, mate, this is back hard it up work. and that, it's moving, it's never, it's never great. Mate, I've been here two days and it feels like I've been here a week. I keep yeah. saying it, I'm just yeah. exhausted. Yeah. But I've uh, I've packed up, um, got all the kit in the back of the van, and if you don't mind, I am going to leapfrog you, maybe 100 metres, 150 yeah, metres. Yeah, makes sense. I think uh, it's you're catching on the left down rod first, aren't you? That's right, yeah, and it feels like they're probably coming from the left more from the right. Yeah, yeah so left, left hand side. Mate, it's always a good indication on these canals, isn't it? Because you've got rods staggered, like left, yeah. middle, right, spread about a little bit. And as soon as you start catching on one rod, you just know which way they're coming from. Yep. I reckon they're up this end during the day uh, and they make their way down the canal at night when it's quiet because that end of the canal is busier, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, it's busy. Uh, and this yeah. end of the canal is quieter, so... Yeah. Uh, I not, not, don't know for sure. I'm hedging my bets. I'm formulating a plan in my own mind yeah. to hopefully catch a, catch a carp. Well, mate, let's get him out for today and see what happens, isn't it? Because yeah, yeah. it's uh, sun's out now and uh, there's a, yeah, you've got loads of pads down this end as well. So I bet your bottom dollar will be a few fish about. I'm not too sure there might, the, the fish will be here because over there on the far bank, which I'll show you in a minute, they're, uh, they're having like an OAP meeting. Aren't they? They are. They're having yeah, like yeah. some sort of like conference thing over there. And they are having a lovely picnic and they're having a lovely time. What hmm. must be like to be retired? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> right, let me get some rods out, mate. Make way, because I'm going to bash you with this door. Otherwise. All right. There we go. Right, got Thanks this. so much for the mobile tackle shop. No, no problem. Get them out there. Is that going to do me a fish? It should do, mate. If they're anywhere within 20 yards of you, that's going to happen. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Nice. Look. Help me! That's exactly what Help we want. Me. Exactly what we want. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Right, so I'm just going to get this rod out for the afternoon. I'm going to attach the bait in a... Well, I don't see anyone else using it, but it's, uh, it's using the boilie as the hair stop. And there's good reason for this. There's lots of craze and croissant chat and uh, a lot Mate, of... got tape, got tape, got tape, got tape. Mike's uh, had a blister intake, so I want to quickly run down so I can get it on camera. <laughs> Let's grab the old net. Oh, well done, mate. Oh. Fish, mate. Come on. <laughs> Come on.
look at them. That's a real good one. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done, mate. Oh. Well, mate, how about that then? Hey? Oh, yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> mate, I'm a bit blown away, to be fair. This tiny, tiny little canal. Reed aligned and lilies, it's just beautiful. And then, uh, yeah, we do catch those fish last night. I moved up here, I went to your left, further on down towards the lock gate. Really, as a bit of a last chance to while we were just sat down, had breakfast, had a cup of tea, and uh, yeah, the rods just burst into life unexpectedly. You know, think by day, you think the bites are done, and this cord here uh, is attached to, well, exactly what we wanted a 44 pound, five ounce, tiny canal mirror. That and in uh, European money, that's a 20 kilo, isn't it? 20. Is it 20 kilos? It's 20 kilos. 20 44 kilo, is 20 kilos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and to, to catch it from such a, a intimate venue, you know, it's just it just blew my mind. So <laughs> I'm sat here now taking it all in, <laughs> Men thinking mate. what has just happened with another fish in the net behind me. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got, we've got to sort ourselves out. Mate, so, well done, mate. It's crazy, wicked. crazy times, but mate, what a result! Yes, <laughs> get in. <laughs> well, this is crazy. A real big fish in the net. Mark because he's walking down, so Mike, you have a rods going. And as you can see, I'm attached to another one with an absolute whopper in there. And this one is probably half the size. But hey, mate, they're all welcome, aren't they? That makes a crazy night's fishing, really. It does. Six, seven, eight, eight takes. Yeah. In you go. Well done, mate. <laughs> yes. Good man. Oh, mate. We've got a bit of a... Got, of a got, got, got a bit of sorting out to do now, mate, haven't we? Right, let me stake this one out, Mark. Well, that's deeper than I thought. Do. We'll walk this one down and get ourselves sorted. Woo. This is a bit crazy, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh my god. Good problems to have. I haven't even managed to photograph the two that I was just gently leading up to uh, the mat. And the rod, as I ducked under the line, the rod went off. I was like, Mark, Mark. Crazy. Bloody hell. That's a giant. That is a giant. That's a giant. It is a giant, mate. Yeah, it's a giant. I've got super wet glasses. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at that. That's a huge cup. Wow. Yes. Hey, what? Yes. I need to put it down and have a rest. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Bush yeah, bush Touch bush it. Touch it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Merci. 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 Oh, my back, my back, <laughs> well my done, back, mate. my nerve. <laughs> Good man. Wow, mate, that's an absolute monster for in here. Jesus. I'm good? I'm good, mate. Yeah, man. Wicked. Probably our best ever canal session to date, Mark. Yeah, it is, yeah. Isn't it? You know, that's a, that's a hell of a carp. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. So now, do we stay or do we go? That's the question. One last look. I'm getting back. Oh yeah. Lovely. Well, that was a hectic spell sorting out them fish, but 
Anyway, we're not very late, late doing this, but nevertheless, so I was talking about attaching the bait. Um, I don't know where I got, but anyway, I'll start it again. So lassoing the bait using this pop-up as a uh, hair stop. So all you do, you take off a length of uh, bait floss, like so. I don't need that anymore. And all we're doing is literally pulling that through the pop-up. So just like so. And then you're creating a little loop here at the end. And you're going to take that loop, bring it back over and put one of the tag ends through. Like that. And this is effectively lassoing the bait. There you go. So there we are. There's your little lasso bait. Now in order for that to come off, the fish has actually got to eat through the whole of the pop-up. Um, and this is really significant when there's lots of little craze. Um, we haven't got the signals over here, thank God, but they're little craze about that big and uh, they can nibble away over time. So that's it. Then you put on the boilie of your choice. Uh, in this case, for me, it's a Lanzakeet boosted hard hook bait. So you pop that on. There we go. And then you get both the tag ends and just hair rig them through there you go so now you've got those two tag ends going straight through the center of the boilie like that and then and that's good reason for this i like a little bit of separation especially with this rig that i've been using um we've got a little ring swivel on the back and i don't like it all being buttered up tight if it was a pop-up yeah maybe i want to pull that that swivel back into the pop-up a little bit but Oh, it's a bit fiddly about my glasses. Hang on a minute, where's my glasses? There they are. Let's pop these on. Getting old. <laughs> right, let's pop these on. There we go, right. So, when the tag end goes through, you've got the other tag end now to tie. So then you simply do a couple of overhand knots. Fasten it nice and tight. Then trim, then usually I blob it, but just to save time here, you've all seen you've all seen people blob knots. So there we have it. There you go. That bait is tied on nice and secure. We've got a nice bit of separation between the uh, ring and the actual bait itself, and that just gives me that nice bit of movement that I'm looking for. A nice bit of separation, and that's what's been doing the business. There we go. Right, we're getting out there. And hopefully, get some food on. Well, I'm gonna leave Mark, and as you uh, will see, I'm going into the canal. This is a general theme on these sort of road trips. If you've watched anything that we've done before, it's bait up uh, a couple of days before we intend to fish. We've already given it one bait up. This is gonna be the second, and we are gonna go back to this particular canal tomorrow. So while Mark um, obviously keeps his rods out, um, I'm going to go and deposit some uh, a couple of kilos of cremino over some spots that we've hopefully got marked on the grass verge with sticks and uh, get on back about an hour and 20 minutes round trip so uh, a bit of a trek but hopefully time well spent so right see you in a minute well I've had a bit of a disaster because since we baited up last time I put stick markers all along here trying to work out obviously when I come back where to stop and what the uh, what the spots are to bait but as you can see they've come all the way through here with some sort of machine cut on the back of a tractor I'd imagine and just literally bulldozed all the vegetation so we're literally stuck now because I think this is the spot but I have no idea I knew it was like that big tree there sort of some right here but hey well got a rucksack full of bait and I'm gonna put three or four handfuls out over each spot and that'll do us that'll do oh god dilemma nightmare with our previously placed bank stick markers gone now the grass had been cut i had no chance of finding mark's pre-baited spots so i needed to get him on a video call to try and retrace his steps yeah a little bit yeah yeah mate that's it's all much or much it's out there so yeah. whatever it, 
you put it just push mark it with a stick mate I think that's probably the best we can do isn't it yeah no worries so I'll put it out here in front of this big sort of tree right on the bend and then the other one I've got a bike alright have you yep. you got a bike Go on. Oh god. Oh, this is live. Oh dear. Is he coming? <laughs> <laughs> 